Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you have not already, please consider subscribing to the channel to help us feed all of our hungry hippos. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up as you're watching today. I just noticed that my baby Yoda's down. Um, today we're going to be doing a thread up unboxing. I got 50 pounds of denim here to go through with you. I'm just going to do a real quick rundown of how I do these in case you are new to the channel and haven't seen me do an unboxing before. I keep track as we go through. This is a teaching channel, so I do talk about the brands and the items as I pull them out of the box and try to teach a little bit as I unbox. So this isn't just a unboxing, it's a learning video. And as we go along, I will keep track of poop items, which is, you know, brands you normally wouldn't want to source, bread and butter items, and the money money or the bolos. If I do come across a new to me brand or something I'm unfamiliar with or haven't seen in a long time, I set it aside and at the end I do a screen share and we comp items together and discover for ourselves what they are. Full disclosure, anything I call poop, I'm still going to list and sell. When I buy wholesale items or big purchases like this, I do try to squeeze every single cent of profit I can out of what I bought. So unless it's completely unsellable, stained, ripped, torn, um, I'm going to list it and I'm going to make as much as I can. Most of the poop items you can still list uh, for like 10 to 12 bucks plus shipping. So you can still make your money back. So that all said, um, I did pay $59.99 all in, $50 plus $9.99 shipping for 50 pounds of denim. So we're just going to jump in here and go through it. Um, they are not, I didn't pull them close enough. They are not in their original box that they get shipped in from Thread Up. If you've ever ordered a denim rescue box, they're brown boxes with like teal green circles on them. We do wash and dry everything that we source, whether we get it from a thrift store, thread up, Goodwill. So Keith takes the box right from the front porch when it's delivered to the basement. He washes and dries all the jeans and reboxes them to bring them up here for me. So I haven't seen them. He has, with the exception of the new with tags. New tags items he does bring up here in a plastic bag, and I uh, steam clean them just to sanitize. So we'll start with the new tags items. I always love getting new tags. There's four in this box. This is Universal Thread, which is typically a poop brand, I would call it. Um, but because these are new tags, we're going to go ahead and call these bread and butter. Um, that's just my classification. A lot of times if I'm at a thrift and I'm shopping one by one, piece by piece, if something's 99 cents new at tags and it's even Walmart, I'm going to get it, right? So we'll call this bread and butter. We are in Q4. Folks who are shopping for gifts for folks are going to probably be looking for new at tags more so than used. These are also boyfriend, which is a good um, style that we do well with. So we're going to call those bread and butter. And then we have um, Next Level Flex American Eagle bread and butter so these i'm going to take this off right you see the price tag normally what i do with new tags honestly i don't comp them <laughs> i don't comp new tags i take 40 percent off of the msrp and i put the msrp somewhere in the description not in the title um but i sell Used American Eagle for $20 or 10 plus 10 ship all day long. So I'm not going to sell these for any less than 40. Start them at 40. I shouldn't say sell for less. So I would like to start these at 30 with 10 shipping and maybe I'll entertain offers down to 25. But um, so I'll take that off. Does that make sense? So I wouldn't put the MSRP obviously on these, but I love American Eagle, especially. Oh, these are money. These are money. So just to give you an idea, I'm going to pull up. I have a pricing sheet I keep of all of the typical brands I find over and over and what prices I start them at. Comes in handy when I'm at the thrift store. I can just be like, oh, well, these are Levi's men's 550. Let me see my price point. I start them at to see if they're worth what they're charging for them. This price guide does come with my jeans guide, you guys, if you're interested. 
It's on sale right now. No code needed. It's just half off for like 12 bucks. Men's used 550s. I started 40. So this is going to be another uh, incident like the American Eagle. I will take this off. I don't know that I'm going to start them at 80, but like maybe 50 or 60. Because this is what I get for used ones all day long on eBay. Um, eBay's weird. There's like some brands that are so expensive at the stores. And then you go to sell it on eBay and it's like, oh, the market value here is like. And then there's stuff that sells new with tags at the store for the same price as stuff I'm selling used. Romeo and Juliet Couture. The MSRP on these is $140. Um, but I'm not that familiar with this brand. I kind of want to look at it just to get an idea. Um, because my way of doing things, you know, just, oh, I'm not going to comp it. Let's just do 40% off the tag. There are certain brands from the mall and Kohl's and stuff that have huge MSRPs on them. And like I was just talking about, they're like total poop on eBay. So if I'm not familiar with the brand, I do look it up. That's the exception to the rule. But I'm so familiar with American Eagles and Levi's that I know what I want and I know what I'm going to do. I do what I want. I get as much profit as I can. This is Earl Jean. Y'all, this is poop. If you ever find this brand, I don't care if it's 50 cents. Don't get it. But I'm going to call this a bread and butter and I'm going to list it. Why? Because it's not jeans. It is a snap button women's denim I guess you could even probably call it a chambray. It's a nice Western like snap shirt. Um, denim is weird. Shorts, jackets, all of that can do a lot better than jeans, even with poopy brands. So we're going to call those bread and butter. I will probably start that shirt at around um, like 12 or so with shipping. I think this is a bolo. I haven't seen one of these in many years. I haven't heard about them in many years. But a few years ago, these were sought after um, and sold for a lot of money. This is a denim coat. It is a men's. It is a medium. It says adult, so it's probably unisex. Um, but you guys, you guys, remember, okay, I'm going to age myself. Remember when our parents <laughs> used to smoke cigarettes and get stuff from the Camel and the Marlboro catalogs? That's what this is. We're going to comp it because I'm pretty sure that that's a bowl, or at least it was at one time. Maybe not anymore. Who knows? We'll look. We'll look it up. J. Crew toothpick, bread and butter. I know that a lot of people who sell on eBay don't like this brand. I like it. Um, it sells pretty consistently for us, but it does really well on Poshmark. So J. Crew is one of those Poshmark brands. Um, Levi's Denizen. So this is your lower end Levi's. Still bread and butter. Even the Levi's, you know, that people can find at Walmart, you can get $10 plus your shipping for. Um, so like $20 all in. Um, Levi's is a good brand. Does it have varying degrees of goodness? Yes. <laughs> But I like all of them. This is a pair of Old Navy maternity denim shorts. So I don't really like to do maternity clothes, but I don't care if I get it in a box. I don't get mad about it because um, it still sells. And these are Old Navy and they're shorts. So that's bread and butter. Definitely. Put my little mark there. All right, next up. Kids, this is another thing that, like, Nah, I'm not going to source for it myself or look for it. But if it comes in a box, I'm not going to be mad about it. This is a poop brand, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm almost positive it's a poop brand. But if you guys want to chime in, if you do sell kids clothing and I'm wrong, teach me something today. I'm always learning. Um, but I'm, I'm going to call them poop. I'm still going to list them though. Get my money. Get that money. Get that money. Citizens of humanity, this is money. Did you see my face? This is what the tags look like. They say C of H. And on the back, they'll say citizens of humanity. These, I mean, as soon as I saw that, I knew what I had. I'm so excited. Um, let me see if they're on my list. 
I hardly ever find these. 50 bucks. Money, money. Money, money, money. I like money. <laughs> I like making profits enough to pay my bills and have money for fun stuff. Who doesn't? I'm not greedy. I just got bills to pay. Talbots. It's a good bread and butter brand. I have like friends who love to sell the women's tops and shirts. This is a denim coat. I mean, this is solid. I'm going to put it under bread and butter, but I might be able to list this for up to like 40, like 30 plus 10 shipping. You'd be surprised at what you can get for denim coats, even like not so great brands. This is just black. I'm pretty sure that's poop. I haven't seen it in a while. I'm going to put it over there and double check it before I call it poop and hurt its feelings. Another, another Citizens of Humanity. Oh my goodness. It's my lucky day. This thread out box is banging so far. Let's see what this is. Shorts, Abercrombie and Fitch. It's a skirt. I lied. It's not shorts. I like denim skirts too. Not as much as the jackets and the shorts, but I still like them. And this is one of those mall brands that everybody else hates and calls poop. And I'm like, no. Abercrombie and Hollister jeans sell well for me. And this is a denim skirt, so we'll see. All right, we got some pants. H&M. Poop. Was there ever a time when H&M Divided was at least bread and butter? I mean, I can remember sourcing it when I first started because I didn't know any better. And that's how Keith and I learned. We're self-taught. We just bought everything we could find for 99 cents, brought it home, figured it out. And I just remember this is never really that great. I thought it was because I didn't know what I was doing. But what is this? BDG, Urban Outfitters. Um, these are skater baggy. So this is not that great of a brand. But the style, I'm going to say makes these bread and butter. Because they've got that. I mean, they literally say on the tag, skater. They got that 90s skater look to them. We'll call them bread and butter. I mean, maybe we'll be pleasantly surprised when we go to Compliment and find out that they're worth money. Let's see what's in here. I don't want to pull everything. Oh, Nelly. Oh, I got real excited. Can you guys see why I got real excited? Can you see what I thought these were? They're not Miss Me's. These are Rue 21. Poop. Call them poop, but they're cute, so I'll probably list them for like 10 bucks plus shipping. These are Joe's. I start these around 30 to 35. Joe's jeans. If you know, you know. And if you didn't, you know now. Joe's jeans. I love Joe's jeans. Um, American Eagle. Solid bread and butter all day long. It's one of my faves. One of my favorites. Let's see got another H&M Divided. This looks like a men's. No, they're women's. That's in my guide too, you guys. If you don't have my jeans guide yet, this is poop. Um, there's a whole section in the book about how to tell men's and women's jeans apart. This box, you guys, two pairs of jeans out of the money column is going to pay for it. I got Joe's, Madewell, Citizens of Humanity. We're going to check that Marlboro code at the end. I bet it's money. These are J. Crew. I can always tell when I see the size. They look like that. I can tell it's J. Crew. That's bread and butter. That is bread and butter. Right, next up, we have another Madewell. What? The funny part is, Keith probably doesn't look at these when he's washing them, so he has no idea what we have. He probably just dumps them in and brings them up. I don't think he looks at them until there's pictures for him to list. <laughs> um, 
another H&M. You know what? I'll take five poops out of this box because y'all see what kind of money I'm pulling out of here. These are um, Levi's Strauss Wedge Skinny. So these are some um, bread and butter solid. Levi Strauss. That's the ones you can usually find at Walmart and like Target. Um, Old Navy? No, I cannot read. These are Ann Taylor. Tell me how you look at a button that says Ann Taylor and you see Old Navy. I didn't see any tags on the inside. These are from Heidi and Jan. You'll have to excuse me. It has been a week. Poop. Wrangler, Wrangler, Wrangler. If they're men's, I'm going to be even more excited. And they are. So Wranglers usually sell for about $15 plus $10 shipping. Um, men's. Women's is like $10 plus shipping. Um, but they sell fast. I never have men's Wranglers sit around for too long. Um, I think a lot of men, it has like a loyal customer base. And I think a lot of men that work in like contracting jobs, painters, plumbers, um, do wear these for work and they really like Wranglers. Um, I know they're good jeans, they're solid. So I think that's my theory. All right, I'm through this box. So what I have to do is pull the other box forward. So I'll be right back. These are American Eagle. So that's red and better. Oh, they're all gonna oh my goodness. Okay, first of all, they're all falling out on me, but oh my goodness. Another pair of meatball. Well. Here's what probably happened. I probably got really lucky and one person donated or sent all of their jeans to thread up. And they were made well. Uh, loyal customers or whatever. Um, but somebody probably had a bunch of made wells and one person sent them in and they were all on the shelf together when they were filling my box and I just happened to get lucky. These are poop. These are wild feeble. <laughs> Don't ever get these. Like if they come to you in a wholesale box, absolutely try to sell them and get some money out of them. Um, but don't get them on purpose. These are, I think, H&M. Or worse. These are, yeah, H&M Conscious. Ooh. Poop. Uh, somebody also got rid of all their H&M jeans, apparently. <laughs> and I got all those, too. Um, yeah, but usually if I'm at a thrift and I find a bunch of, like, the same brand or style right next to each other, I usually think that, like, oh, one person cleaned out their dresser and these are all one person's jeans. Um, and I'm pretty sure when one person donates the thread up, they probably put them all in one spot. And then when they're filling your box, sometimes you just get lucky. Ice Cool Collections, made in the UK. So we're going to look this one up. Can you see it? Um, I've never heard of it. It's new to me. Oftentimes, oh, these are cute. Oftentimes, this is a skirt. These are not pants. I saw, I saw this little slit and down here, and I thought, oh, my gosh, these are, like, huge bell bottoms with slits. They're so cute. No, it's a skirt. But what I was going to say is a lot of times the UK brands do end up being good. Gap, 1969, True Skinny. Love me some Gap. So we will call these bread and butters. We've got another pair of Gap. These are a uh, favorite jegging. I do pretty good with jeggings and leggings and jeggings. And these are Lucky, which are now bread and butter. These are men's, which is good. Um, so I'll probably start them around 20 plus 10 shipping. Um, oh man, I remember once upon a time, I could start men's Lucky brand at like 40 all in. So like 30 plus 10 shipping. Um, not anymore. Don't race to the bottom, guys. It ruins things. <laughs> But they're still pretty good uh, bread and butter. And men's do sell for a little bit more. And they sell for a little faster. They sell for, they sell a little faster. Um, Ribcage Boot. 
Never heard of the Levi's ribcage boot. Ooh, and their button fly. So, as a rule of thumb, if I get jeans that are button fly, I will always add two or three dollars onto my base starting price because this is like a a premium event. That's not an event. <laughs> this is like a part of the design that I think makes them more valuable. So I do always add a couple bucks for the these are Levi Strauss. Um, these are ribcage boot button fly. These are really nice. I might start these around 15 plus 10 shipping. But yeah, keep that in mind when um, you find button flies. You can always charge a little bit more for plus size too. So like American Eagles are usually going to be like 10 plus 10 shipping if they're women's and like 15 if they're men's. But if you get button fly or they're plus size, you can go up to 12 and 14 bucks. Um, people will pay more for plus size. They sell faster as well. These are, these look really generic. Like, they just say pants. <laughs> pants. What the heck? I don't see any brand. There's nothing on the button. They are... I'm going to call them poop. And I'm still going to try to get like eight bucks for shipping for them. You watch. You watch me do it. Levi's Slim Straight Fit Signature. Solid red bar. I'll do These are, I want to see the size. Men's 36. I thought they were men's. Yep. Yeah. So those are bread and butters. Got a couple more in here, guys. And then we'll share the screen and comp stuff together. Ann Taylor's poop. Some people think she's bread and butter, and if she sells well for you, that's fine. Um, I don't think she's bread and butter. Um, I don't source it. We got a denim jacket here. So excited. It's autumn. Jean jacket's got to go up quick star. Remind yourself of that. Oh, this is a Levi's. I want to comp this. Because so I haven't had a Levi's denim coat in a long time and like i said denim coats can surprise you um right before i went to FlipCon in august we had a bunch of denim coats that we got from the thread up so i just want to make sure we got them up before the fall and when i was comping them it was surprising like even american eagle was like 25 and 30 you know all in with shipping um there was a lucky brand one that we put up for 40 with free ship at that time we've since switched to charging shipping but it's all the same. Uh, $20 pair of American Eagles free ship is the same as 10 plus 10 ship. We're just doing the experiment to see if it's a different kind of customer that we'll get or, you know, if it sells more or less. Made well. Slim boy jean. Made well. And screen shared uh, comping all the items I had set aside to comp. And my microphone was not picking it up. In fact, I bumped the cord, knocked the microphone out, wasn't aware of it, recorded the whole thing, and uh, found out that it was unplugged. So I'm just going to tell you what I found out. <laughs> Instead of trying to recreate the screen share, because I already know. Um, these... Ice cool collections I could not find on eBay, not in the solds, not in the listed. I checked Poshmark um, and I decided to go with my instinct and call them poop. But if you know any different than that, please correct me in the comments below and I'll learn something today. We have the Levi Strauss denim jacket. I decided this was going to go up, I think, for like $35, $40. Um, so that I called this money. I was very excited. The new with tag, Romeo and Juliet Couture. They had the $140 MSRP on them. There were turds who had these listed for very low, um, but most folks had these in around 40 and 50 bucks. So I'm probably going to do like maybe 35 plus 10 shipping, maybe even 40. I can run a sale and do offers. Um, so I did call those money and, um, 
the just blacks, which I don't know where they went. I know I checked them and they're down in the pile. Um, I decided those were bread and butter. Most people sell those for like 20 to 25. This was a bolo. This was money, money. Of course, there was a couple of turds selling these for a lot, lot less than what they are worth. Um, I think I saw one like 11 bucks on auction or something, but most folks are selling these like for good money. So I figured I would do mine at like 35 plus 10 shipping. And then I can um, take best offers of like 30. So I'd get 40 all in. Um, and then I was talking about when I was looking these up, um, this has a leather collar and people were putting that in the title, which is important and vintage. And I like some of the other keywords I had seen like uh, trucker, things like that. So that's that. And then the last thing out of the box was more money jeans. Um, Adriana Goldschmied, which I start for around $35. So I also called those money. So at the end of the day, out of this box, I had 10, 11 poops. I'm still going to sell my poop. I didn't have anything in this box that was damaged to the point where I can't resell it. Um, everything was viable. So everything will be sold so I can make the most profit. 21 bread and butters. And six monies. I did my ticks wrong, <laughs> so that's why I had to count them. Um, but there are six pairs of money jeans. Like, let me just get a calculator out real quick, okay, and just do some quick math. So most of the money stuff is going to sell for about 40 all in. So you take off the 15% roughly give or take for fees i just do 15 percent because it's easier it's a little less than that it's more like 11 um and then um 760 to ship we're going to figure out the actual cost of goods here but i'm betting it's like around a dollar or two so roughly 24 dollars profit it's going to be a little bit more but for the really good items in here the six great items i'm going to profit 144 and that's after fees shipping and cost of goods the box was $59.99, so I'm more than doubling my money with the six really good things. I'm so excited. And then I got 21 bread and butters, which is probably going to come out to about right around $200 profit. And the 11 poops, maybe like 88 So it's a 432 well, yeah, $432 profit once it all sells. But let's figure out my cost per piece. So I said I had 11 poops. Right, 21 bread and butters and six great ones. It's 38 total items in this box. I pay $59.99 all in with shipping. So my price per piece is a little bit higher than usual. It's $1.57. I'm going to round it up to $1.60 and say I paid $1.60 per piece. Um, yes, I can go to the thrift store and get stuff for $0.99. Cents. This is not quite double that, but I had 38 items shipped directly to my door i didn't have to go anywhere i didn't drive anywhere i didn't go look off the rack i didn't spend my time out of the house i had 38 viable items shipped right to my door um and i'm gonna make 432 dollars profit so i'm okay with the dollar 60 per piece um especially with getting this great of a box i mean this was a this is probably the best box i've had in a long time just because there's 21 bread and butters and only 11 poops and six, and I'm real, real excited about all the made well, the citizens of humanity, but this Marlboro jacket is the bomb. So I'm really pleased with this box. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything you saw in this video, or if you knew a brand that I didn't know, feel free to let me know. And um, I do answer everybody. So use the comment section, join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. Go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.